Hello there, Big Benedict here. We're playing Gears of War Judgment Aftermath Campaign, and this is my insane difficulty guide and walkthrough. We're currently on chapter 506. It is entitled Straight to the Top. So this is a brief chapter, uh, coming off the rather lengthy chapter that we did uh, previously. And the next chapter will be brief as well. And uh, just to let you know, there is no uh, boss, final boss fight for this uh, a particular campaign, although there are some elite cantuses in a, a kitchen, which serves as the last fight. Uh, so over here, some random gets sniped by a one-shot, and Baird says something like, well, that was a boring conversation anyway. Great line. Terrific line. Anyway, uh, if you don't have a long shot, there's one right uh, behind where I'm located right now in one of the bathrooms. In fact, I'm going to go pick pick this up and get myself a little bit more ammunition uh, and then coming up here you're gonna be uh, killing uh, about three three one-shotters and then moving on uh, and then uh, there is a, a split in the path coming up where you can um, uh, go beneath where you're at to a lower floor and pick up a collectible in fact it's right over here where these grapplers come up you can actually go down there if you want to and it will lead you back to the same place um, there is another fight down there with wretches and uh, more drones if you want to partake in that we're going to skip that for now and just uh, head on to the next location after we do this main fight uh, you notice that when that door opened we had a, a, a butcher that we had to deal with so I threw a grenade at him I think it stuck took care of him pick up a little bit more ammunition and this definitely is really a brief chapter it's not too difficult either I do really appreciate the fact that there is no boss fight on this DLC uh, mainly if for no other reason uh, since the judgment fight took me so many so many days so many days it, it took 17 hours over a period of like four days so it was really depressing um, but coming out here now, there's two, I think, two fights that you do out here. Be careful. I didn't know you can come over here, actually, but uh, you can flank the enemies this way. But they do have a tendency uh, to mantle over the wall here and uh, potentially try to mantle kick you. And then when you go up the stairs, it's kind of a no man's land because you don't have much cover and things are coming at you from every which way. And the best thing probably to do would be to fall back, especially in view of the digger. Um, he's coming. Well, I, I'm calling him a digger, but he's actually called a ranger. So I do apologize about that. I didn't mean to miscategorize the park ranger. Um, but as you can see, there he is up there. And I'm falling back now for some, for some safety. And each time you do this, you'll be fighting a couple of uh, a reaver, and it, it it really isn't too bad. I think the the main difficulty is just finding a good place of cover because until you do these fights a couple of times and familiarize yourself with the spawn points it looks like we had two rangers um, familiarizing yourself with the spawn points is important because you'll have grapplers coming up at different points it's hard to tell where they are so we've got a couple of drones over there And uh, in a moment, we'll have that Reaver coming up. And he'll be walking around, so we'll have to avoid him. Yeah, that, that final boss, 17 goddamn hours. It's ridiculous. And I always forget this, but I have to say, I have... Um, I had absolutely, in, in all my complaining about it, I had absolutely no excuse to be bitter about it at all because I'm playing at twice the frame rate that other folks were playing at um, formerly because uh, a lot of the videos that you see mo most all of them probably uh, they're from the 360 era when the game is at 30 so since I'm playing at 60 I have absolutely no excuse to be bitter or t I'm gonna complain definitely complain because it's fucking hard but uh, I have no reason to complain about the frame rate certainly and it helps, it really does, because sometimes I switch between this game and Gears of War 3 
back to 30 from 60 and it's it's something that you can get adjusted to definitely but um at first it seems like it's unplayable when you, when you half the frame rate like that and it is unfortunate that all these gears games i got fps boosts up to 60 but gears of war 3 uh it just didn't get it the only feature it says it has is auto resume so it didn't get an upgrade in the frame rate unfortunately and that's really sad um, but maybe there were just problems beyond the scope of what they could possibly um, you know provide to the uh, the community of folks who are playing these games on the Xbox X or the Series X um, if you don't know I've been playing all these games on the Series X and just enjoying the frame rate more than I can say it's just it really it, it really helps it truly does help just for the 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 the, uh, the fatigue factor I think of, of of knowing that these games have always been at a certain frame rate and then instantly being able to play them at twice the frame rate it, it means so much especially to someone like me who doesn't um, doesn't value uh, visuals more than I do performance boosts and the ability to unlock higher frame rates. It just means so much. It really does. I know I've said that a number of times, but I can't stress it enough. So this is the last thing you'll face. The the first reaver that we faced uh, was walking around. This one just stays over there. You need to be careful careful of any of the therons dropping from that ship over to the right. Uh, they're gonna have lancers and torques. I'm sorry, uh, lan yeah, lancers and torques. And then when you kill the last one, all you need to do is just go in this door, and then you'll be on the sixth and final chapter of the DLC. Very short and sweet chapter. And I will see you over there. There's a couple more guys abseiling down here. They've got some lancers, so we can get some more ammunition. And I think, oh, I've got a torque bow. Yeah, I, of course I've been using the torque bow, but I haven't really been able to pick one up too much on the campaign as per usual anyway that is chapter five i will see you on the final chapter of the dlc until then please take care